So welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Two Realistic Plays, Building St. Vista on City Skylines. So I hope you guys enjoy the time lapse. Um, we just built the Strip Amphitheater, and um, I think it looks really cool. It's a pretty nifty design, if I do say so myself. Um, I got, you know, like I said multiple times in multiple previous videos, um, I get a lot of my inspiration inspiration from Reddit, and I saw a really, really awesome. I'm sure. A lot of people saw this, but some guy built a um, like a music festival in City Skylines before, and I think it made the front page of Reddit. But I mean, it was just like awesome. And I don't know if he was the one that made all these uh, these people. And I mean, they're vanilla people, but they're uh, props and not actual people, so they don't move, which is kind of unfortunate. But then again, it's kind of cool in the same sense where um, you know you can place a whole butt ton. Of, um, of people around um, just to you know give life to the area when normally um, parks would not allow that um, many people to you know be all there in one location but yeah so I think it turned out pretty cool um, I just used some prop signs and just kind of put a whole bunch of assets together to come up with this stage um, I used a lot of the industrial like uh, stairs and uh, fire escapes and things of that nature and then this structure right here is actually um, what is that that's a bus terminal that I downloaded from the Steam Workshop and it just kind of fit the the theme with the sign and everything and I think the stage turned out um, pretty cool in the center right over here I have I don't know exactly what this is called but this is where the uh, the sound booth would be and you know let's pretend that there's speakers and lights and things of that nature hanging off this structure in the middle and uh, you know we got our pylons like we typically do um, in this area I really think it just turned out pretty cool I mean uh, leave me some thoughts let me know what you guys think there's one thing that I wish I did a little differently but I'm not exactly sure how I would have pulled it off I had to place these bleachers in the amphitheater itself on roads but when you place stuff on roads you get people driving to it so I have some vehicles in the crowd of people which is not typically that's not a good thing um, usually bad things happen when that when that situation occurs um, but I'm not playing with like traffic president or anything like that so I'm not really able to um, you know, do anything about that so it is what it is however I do have some great news. We finally achieved all of our goals for this city. Um, the last goal that I was waiting on was pushing our population up to 100k. And if you guys notice, I am at about 103k right now. So that is awesome. So, you know, pretty much the city's done. Which is crazy because this is, I mean, we're episode 13, but... We're many, 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 many hours into the progress of the the city. Progress? Building out the city. But, so, besides just building the, the strip amphitheater, I've also been expanding out neighborhoods and, uh, you know, just to push that population up to where we need it. And one of the places that we pushed it out to was an island that I... Mind it, man. It was already there, but I populated it, and I called it Durin, the island of Durin. And Durin is my mother's maiden name, and uh, I think this sounds pretty cool. So that's where that came from. But as you can see, it's not that big of an island, and I don't have particularly too much going on. But there is some uh, high density residential, and I have a little bit of. Um, high density commercial, but I do have a high rise band, so we're not getting too many tall buildings, um, which is kind of nice. I wanted it kind of dense, but I didn't want just a whole bunch of skyscrapers. And um, I don't know, I think it looks kind of cool. Um, I also got Duren Beach over here, which is a nice little beachy resort area. We got some fishing piers over on the harbor side, and we have a couple more fishing piers over on the ocean side as well. And it's nothing too spectacular, it's just a, a little beach area for the residents of Duran. Now if we come over here, back towards main Duran, and let's take a look at this interchange. So, to enter 
or leave Durin. You have to either go via the highway or you can take the train. Um, but the interchange itself is kind of nifty because you come in through this loopy on-ramp and you hit a roundabout and then you, it's connected to another roundabout via an avenue and that roundabout has an exit point going back towards uh, St. Vista or you go underneath the highway to the train station and then from there you can get back into Durin via going to the highway and then hopping right back onto the on-ramp back into Durin um, to ac access the city from like the train station or if you just need to loop around or whatever. Is that the most effective way um, to do this interchange? Absolutely not. But it kind of looks cool and I kind of like the, the flow. Um, here you can see the train station. I added some detail. Um, you'll see more of that in the cinematics to come. Um, but you can either take the bus or you can take this pedestrian path to get into Durin. Um, I, I think it looks pretty cool and uh, I'm kind of happy. Well, not kind of happy. I am happy with the way it turned out. So the next area that we were boosting population was a little island called Buena Vista. Now Buena Vista Island isn't really that big. There's a little bit of low density residential and low density commercial, a couple schools. It's just primarily just to boost the population. And then finally we'll have uh, the communities of St. Martin. We have St. Martin, Upper St. Martin, and Lower St. Martin on that little island over there. Um, but again, there's nothing, you know, too spectacular about this, just primarily low density residential just to, you know, boost the population. So that's pretty much all the off-camera work that I've done. And what I'm going to do now is we'll hop back into some time lapse and some cinematics of me building the areas and letting them grow. And then after that, I will chime back in and we'll do an outro. And I'll be back with you guys momentarily. So see you in a minute.
There you go. I hope you enjoyed the time lapse. But with that said, we are done with St. Vista. And this has just been a crazy, epic project for myself. And I'm so glad that I pushed my way through. But I got one more episode left for you guys. This, the next episode will be the Grand Tour. We'll go through each of the districts, provide some stats. I'll give you some insights on my favorite mods, some of my production process, what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it, what I wish I could have changed. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I hope it inspired you. Um, if you did enjoy and if you did get inspired, please throw me a like. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see that next Grand Tour episode, don't forget to subscribe. But with that said, I'm out for the day. So have a great one. Don't say you're on the run to the other side